Marvin Mandel is one of a handful of Maryland officials to lay in repose at the state capitol building. Wednesday morning, members of the military carried him inside, his coffin draped in the American flag. Being the state's only Jewish governor, there was a small service led by a rabbi with some brief yet emotional words by Governor Hogan. He spent 28 years in elective office, but he dedicated 95 years of his life uh, to making Maryland a better place. And uh, we will all be forever grateful for that. Afterwards, Governor Mandel's son Paul was at a loss for words. It's tough, but you know, it's 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 a little overwhelming. But he was a wonderful man, and he did everything he possibly could for the state. There were a number of past governors and top state officials on hand. While Mandel was a Democrat, he had no problem making friends on the other side of the aisle. We think of the personal relationship, the private dinners, the private lunches, the chats, the phone calls, helping put my government together. Even after office, our coffees at Chicken Roost. Uh, a, a terrific person and a terrific friend to me and us yeah. and the state of Maryland. Governor Mandel's career wasn't without controversy as back in 1977 he served 19 months in prison for mail fraud and racketeering but his sentence was eventually overturned four years later. Our state's 56th governor, just about anyone will tell you, a state he cared very much about. He made government uh, at a very difficult time uh, work. Uh, he was transformational in, in, in bringing people into the process and making, making it accountable in many respects. And I, and I think that's a part of his legacy that's often overlooked. Now, Governor Mandel was 95 years old. He will lay in repose here at the state capitol building until 8 o'clock this evening. His funeral is scheduled for tomorrow in Pikesville. We're live in Annapolis tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.